Do they even blame me? The three, you blame the 30 zero. I just blame my fear. But you're not gonna be 30, you're gonna be 21. You're literally gonna be able to turn 21, so it doesn't like 30. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know about the mindset can go back to being 21. <laughs> <laughs> I have like zero responsibility. <laughs> zero. Ruckers. <laughs> go to Ruckers, turn up. Hey everybody, it is your girl Nika B here, CEO of Nika B Styling. I am here with Quentin Goss of No Days Off Fitness. He has gotten me into a gym. Yep. <laughs> so I am just curious to what we are going to do today. So Nika, today, I'm glad you're here first off. Thank you. And um, I'm glad you got a chance to come out of the office. So <laughs> got a chance, because she's a grinder, she does her thing, you know, style. So I gotta say, like, what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do a light beginner workout that's gonna get you, you know, nice and ready for what you're gonna get into for, you know, hopefully in the, within the future. We're gonna do some boxing today, a little more, a little bit body weight uh, type of workout, some, uh, okay. and, uh, some different metabolic complexes in between, um, and kind of just go from there. Okay, I am definitely a beginner. <laughs> Post COVID, this is my first actual gym training gotcha. experience. Okay. So let's just see what you have in store for me. I'm excited. All right. A little nervous. You're a little nervous? A lot of nervous. <laughs> I think I think she's doing really, really well. I think she's like not giving herself enough credit. What do you mean? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but I believe in your training. I believe in what we're about to do. So I feel like it's going to be great. Awesome. I trust you. Cool. So ready to begin? As ready as I'm going to get. <laughs> All right. It's called an ISO push-up. So with the ISO push-up, what you're pretty much doing is, is um, holding your body pretty much basically in the air, elevated. You're just all body. So you're literally no weight on you at all, nothing. It's just your body purely. You're going to hold it for one minute straight. Okay. Okay. So literally all you're going to do, you're going to get down low. Hold it just like this. Make sure you're not buttoning up too deep in the air. You're not sinking low. You're just right. Okay. We're gonna hold that for one minute. One minute. One minute. Woo! I don't even know if I can position this properly. <laughs> All right, how do I put this up there? Yeah, feet like that. This is the longest minute ever. Go. Forty seconds left. How did that feel? Oh. <laughs> How did it feel though? You all you were doing holding your own body weight. I need to lose some body weight. <laughs> <laughs> what? All, you, all it is is your own body weight. We need okay. to like dive into anything in a workout way. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into well, there goes and we have Brandon also. Hi Brandon! <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna do in the workout is we're gonna do uh, oh it's, it's called the w WGF warm-up. And all it is is we're, we're, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna twist to the side that is the least tightest. So if this, let's see here, if this side is tight. So okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the side that's not tight, which is this one, eight times. After you do that eight times, you're gonna twist back to this side and then it, it automatically loosens up. It's okay. like magic. You ready? No. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying no. <laughs> she really believes me, yeah, she is. I'm ready. Okay. So and hands on the abs. And you're or lack of abs. <laughs> yes. And we're gonna twist to the so just find find what side is the tightest. Okay, definitely that one. Okay, so you're gonna twist to the right eight times. Eight times. Yeah. Alright. There you go. Good job. So Nika. Eight. And this side, how many? And then the twist to the one Eight. Time. Just one? Oh yeah, one time. Now, did that lose enough? Yes, it did. See, it's a magic, right? <laughs> okay. And that's what you're gonna do, okay? Same, same place where you're sitting. Okay, same okay. thing. You're gonna find out which one's tighter. Then you're gonna go and, um, and then you do the one that's least tightest eight times. All right, so like I just put up and cross? Yeah, just put it up on that, put it on that knee. 
Okay, well that was tighter. Okay, so could we do that? So eight times? Eight times. All right. Here we go. Try to get it all the way up on that knee if you can. If it's not, it's okay. Good job, there you go. See, she's crushing it, huh? She's always tight. Sorry. And then one time, oh! See, it loosens up. It like, does. Oh, you know, the next one you're going to do, you will stand in place. Okay. Ooh, a little crack there. <laughs> right, so this one was the tightest. If you so. crack, I know I'm going to buckle. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's cracking, man. So you're going to do, yeah, so that, this, one, this one was the tightest. Do that, and I did, did that one eight times. So, um, okay. So same thing with you. So I just stand and then just kick outwards and you see which one's tighter? Just kick out like you're, you're chilling like. I used to be a cheerleader, don't do that. <laughs> I used to do all <laughs> like, things don't girly. Yeah, don't disrespect me. I don't know, that seems like they're the equal tightness. The equal tightness on it? So choose one that, you know, whichever one's the least. No, this one's tighter. Okay. Okay, so I do this side? Yeah, you like Eight times? Eight times. And then one time. Then one time. Did you feel that on that one? Yes, I did. did. Okay, let me make sure. I did. <laughs> no, I felt it. It went up way easier. <laughs> All right, the last one we're gonna do is fire hydrants. Just like, why do you think they call it fire hydrants? Because uh, when a dog, you know, a dog you know, pees on the fire hydrant. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that. I didn't want to just say like, oh, it's like the peeing stands. So, ten times each leg. So this one is not the same as the other. Okay. Ten. Ten. All right, ten times each leg. Ten times each leg. All right. Doing a great job so far, by the way. So, crushing. Yeah, I'm good at <laughs> pretending like you're crushing. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Good job. And once we get started, we'll be playing a little bit of Eminem. <laughs> and some yada 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 body yada 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 so, no corner needed. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna do, all right, we're gonna sit here, we're gonna hang 45 seconds. Uh -huh. the next thing we're gonna do, okay? So literally, <coughs> what you're gonna do, you're gonna sit here, bring the knees up, <coughs> right on the left, and hang for 45 seconds. Okay, just so you know, upper body strength is my weakness. Gotcha, and if you can't do the right over left, just hold yourself up for 45 seconds without moving. You can have your feet straight down. I was like, am I jumping up here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you can still bring them up 90 degrees and hold that in that position. Just like that. For how long? Oh, uh, 45 seconds. <laughs> I got you on time. Got 20 seconds left. And all this does is help stretch out the arms for the workout. Like if you're about to do upper body or anything upper body, it just loosens the entire upper body portion. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. There you go. How did that feel? Hard. <laughs> but not as bad. It wasn't as strenuous I thought it would be. Now, did it remind you of something, I don't know, gymnastics? Yes, and I was not a beam gymnast for that specific. Oh, oh, okay. I did not do bars. Bars? Oh, no, that's tough. I did beam, I did floor, but bars because I couldn't pass the upper body strength portion. Bars? That's a whole nother game right there. It like, is. <laughs> but they make you do that when you first start training for it. Gotcha. They make you do that for two minutes. Wow. And I couldn't even do it. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's I, can tell I was younger <laughs> then. <laughs> Yeah. Right. So My coach would have been proud about that 45 seconds. <laughs> 45 seconds. Gotcha. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to dive into the workout. So, uh, what I'd like you to do, grab some water, and then we're going to actually get to the real thing. That wasn't the real thing? That wasn't the real thing. That was just a warm up. Okay. I think I can handle it. So, do you, is there anything you want to tell the crowd before we get started? The warm up is not that bad. <laughs> I don't work out that often. I am probably 
on a scale of not fit at all, and that wasn't even bad. So if you work out even just a smidge more than me, you'll walk through that. Good job. Awesome. So grab some water and we're about to get started. Yes. Hmm? Uh, probably about 10 years ago. <laughs> I don't know how I am now. I don't remember the last time as an adult that I jump roped. I mean, it's probably like riding a bike though. It's like a skill that you probably don't forget. Jump rope. Okay. Okay. Jump rope and we have So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dive into our you know just beginners workout. Like I said, it's nothing crazy. We're gonna do two rounds. Okay. We're gonna do two rounds, and we want to, the goal of this is to see where you're at cardio wise. Try, you know, try to try to push yourself as hard as you can. Obviously, you don't want to overexert yourself. The cardio is like, <clears throat> like you feel dead after the first round. Let's, you know, we'll tone it back a little bit, but try to push yourself. And like you said, you've been doing cardio, so you should be at a good point to try to go through this. I've been doing mock cardio, not quitting all this cardio. <laughs> not no days off cardio. No, no days off. I've had a couple days off. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> so, so this, this is pretty much what we're gonna do is, First one is gonna be normally we'll do 100 jump ropes, but we'll do 50 because this is your first time. So, normal jump rope. That's it. If you need to, if it's yeah, too long, I, I think that's too long. All right. I haven't jump roped in a while. Can I do like a practice jump? Sure. I haven't jump roped since, I don't know. Yeah. And if you can't, if you just can't jump rope at all, we can put it down and go without it. So. I remember how to jump rope. <laughs> I thought I tried how to do it still. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's like I don't know about 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's like riding a bicycle. Yeah, it's like something you kind of wobble at at first, but. Okay. Yeah, and get into it, so. But you prefer straight leg jump rope, right? If you want, you can do straight leg or you can go. Actually, believe it or not, I don't know how to do that. And actually, you know what, it takes time to do that. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually harder to do because your other foot gets stuck. That is true. So we'll start off with just straight leg. Okay. okay. 50? Yep, yeah, and 50, so it'll be 50 of those. Then you're gonna have, uh, we're gonna go 25. 25 squat jumps. So 25 squat jumps, all you're gonna do is you're gonna sit and you're gonna jump in the air, squat down, jump in the air, squat down. That's pretty much it. 25 of those. So how, what do you think about that so far? Now I can do this at my own pace, right? Like yeah. I don't have to like, it's not like a time thing. There's right? no, there's no time. Okay. Just, it's just rounds. Okay. Rounds. All right. I can do that. Okay. But I was like, can you do this in 30 seconds? I'm like, no. <laughs> 30 seconds. 25 minutes. <laughs> then, okay, have you done, so how, some people don't like push-ups. Have you done push-ups recently? Recently, within the last two months, yes. Okay. Within the last two weeks, no. And what type of push-ups? I don't do girl push-ups. I do regular push-ups. Regular push-ups. Yeah. Tyler, okay. Yeah. So can, what's the most you've done? I don't know, like 15. 15? Okay. So let's do, I have 20 on here. Okay, I can push myself for 20. 20. Okay. Huh? If there's no speed limit, I can push it. Gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. Legal speed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to get the full experience. I'm going to try to do it the right way. I don't want to be that girl. I'm like, ah, I can't do that. Okay, so you guys have the 20 push ups. Then we're going to do 20, uh, no, 30 mountain climbers. Oh, I hate mountain climbers, but I can do 30 mountain climbers. 30? Yeah. Okay, just making sure you're in something that you can do. Like, I can't do them. Oh, I, I can do them. They're not my favorite. So but, climbers. so how do you, now how do you count your mountain climbers? One. Just talk together. Okay. Yeah, not, yeah I'm not sticking there about that. Okay, because <laughs> everybody's different. Yeah, because I'm like, then at that point I did 60 seconds. Yeah, so 60 seconds, yeah. This yeah. makes it sound good. Like, yeah. And then, um, to finish off, we're gonna do something called seated ab circles. Okay? It's gonna be 30 seconds. Okay, actually no, we'll because seated ab circles can suck. But actually no, we're gonna do more here. So we'll do we'll do 20 seconds and then when we get to the ab workout, we'll add more into it. Okay, are, are like the ab circles like Russian twists? So ab circles, you can put your hands down on the ground behind you. You can go counterclockwise first. Oh clockwise. And then after 20 seconds, you go clockwise. Okay. That's that's one round. 
and then we'll just do two rounds for today. <laughs> How do you feel? Confident. Feel confident? Yeah. A little, okay. a little nervous, but I, I'm confident. Feel like you got it. Okay, so I'm starting on my jump roping, right? Yep, and you said, need to be round one. <laughs> Let's get it. Tell me when to start. Three, How many? Two, uh, okay. one, and go. So sitting up. Yeah. Can you demonstrate that one more time? I got you. So air squat. <laughs> there you go. I have to turn that high. <laughs> I need a water break. Is it okay? Well, take a water break. Go ahead. Air squats. Twenty-five air squats. This might be the one that kills me. So I don't have to jump high. <laughs> Gotta face myself for these. So how do I start it? Yeah, so you just go, start here, and then push it down, and bring it back up. Push it down, and bring it up. Like, hold on, <laughs> I'm not doing this right. That's okay, let's do it again. Push it down, bring it up. Push it down, down. bring it up. Just like that, good job. How do you feel right now after that? <sighs> <laughs> These poor thighs. <laughs> thighs, but hey, after you finish and you go back home and you're like next week, you're like, what? Oh, my thighs are <laughs> sore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next one we're gonna dive into is push up. Different drops of water. We're diving to we'll do 15 to 20 push ups. I'll give you that. Then we can do 20 more so you can choose. This is good though. Too hard. <laughs> How many push ups? Between 15 and 20. Your choice. Always, always. If I bother everyone, I would say 15 if you, you, know, you just want to get there, 20 if you want to be great. <laughs> you know that now, why would you say that to me? I know. That's not so yeah, especially after you do like air squats, it really does affect the quads, quad reading. Um, but you definitely gonna, it's gonna, you're, after you do that a lot of, a lot of times, different weeks, we'll get used to it. So. Oh, I had to catch my breath. No problem, no problem. Okay, okay. Deep breath. So out of shape. <laughs> this is what almost a year of quarantine does to you. Quarantine's got a lot of people. <laughs> Quarantine got everybody, that's for sure. You got me in the moment. <sighs> okay. Let me do this. It's like the hardest workout I've had in a while. It's, it's, it's okay. And we can just do one round, too. And just do boxing at the end, too. 